I am in awe right now that this works. So we're currently at Best Buy. We're gonna do a bottle really quick and I'm just gonna leave you in your car seat if you're cool with that because I kind of just want to bring your stroller in for Best Buy. So when packing up and leaving, I could not find my handheld tripod and I guarantee you it's just on the kitchen counter. Like, I feel like I just don't know where else it would be in the house. But I remember checking my office, the dining room table, and I couldn't find it. And I was like, you know what? It's a cheap handheld tripod. I can get another one. And now it's starting to drive me crazy with vlogging, not having one. So I specifically went to a Target that is right beside Best Buy. And there is also a Home Depot because my... Okay, let's talk about the movers for a second. It's like not that big of a deal. Like in reality, all of this furniture was not expensive like I didn't send like super super nice things so like I'm not phased I am a little bit worried I was just thinking about that today how his room collaboration is nice furniture and when we move I'm like I don't want to use the same movers but there was a lot of damage that was done my desk really chipped the arch lamp that used to be in the living room is ruined it needs to be thrown away they completely just like it's toppling over it's broken the dining room table they somehow lost all the screws and things for it so my man actually went and got stuff to put the dining room table together what else was done oh the mattress to the queen was filthy like I don't even know what they did to the edge but it. it's disgusting Thank goodness my sleep number doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, but if anything is wrong with my sleep number, that's the only thing I'll be mad about because that was by far the most expensive thing that was sent. But there was just a lot of mishaps, I will say, that I was a little bit bummed. And it's not that big of a deal, but the king bed, if you guys remember that was in my last house, I was saving it to go in the grand primary suite at the lake house. That's gonna take effing years. Like, I don't know, like my train of thought was like, oh, I'll get it done in like two years. You delusional. I was saving that just in my basement. So for this move, I was like, let's just send that bed. And then we already have a king bed frame. Well, they didn't, take the screws and stuff that went with it and then when I was searching my house to find the screws I couldn't find them anywhere and I have no idea where the heck they are so we need to purchase screws to assemble that bed currently we have been sleeping in the queen bed so like thank goodness I had that sent um but yeah we need to get that bed made so we're gonna go to Home Depot to get screws we're gonna go to Target what did I want to get at Target I need to look at my list of things. Um, oh, I need to get curtains because I want to put up those curtains. And that's it. That was a very long story. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. You're going to finish drinking this bottle. You're just staring at me because I'm talking. Drink your bottle, lovey. Okay? Crush that bottle. You crushed it. Huh? This kid loves my camera so much. And my man actually made a very good point the other day. He's like, he's going to get to the point where he wants his own camera and he is going to be... Vlogging, and good thing your mother has a million. Huh, yeah, I've got so many, you can quite literally have one yourself. Although I, I will get him like a kid camera first before I just like hand him a several hundred dollar camera. Okay, let's go into Best Buy, baby. What do you think? I have to climb up. I am just now realizing this fell out of one of the bags the other day. I was like, why is there just avocado oil in my back seat? Because it fell out of the bag and it rolled forward. And now I'm like, what do I even do with this? Okay, if you knew the amount of times <laughs> I just climbed up in my car like this, it's ridiculous, but I need to turn off my car and leave through this door. Otherwise, my car will get mad at me. I made the mistake of not checking online to see what they had in stock. That was actually a small Best Buy and they had like no cameras were there. No gear was there. So I get the one that I want off of Amazon. It's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna hop to the next door. Chances I actually bought the right thing. 
I'm gonna give myself about an 80% chance. Here's the problem. The instructions, assembly instructions for this thing, like gave all of the parts, which is great, but I had to convert them into our metric system and like what is available at Home Depot. So for example, I don't actually know if these are the right yeah. nuts. And I really think these are the right screws, but I just don't know. <laughs> I was just kind of winging it. And then at one point I was like, I could really just ask someone here and maybe they would know, but I'm too damn stubborn. I was like, no, you can figure it out on your own. So I found a converter online and I just don't. Okay, here's the thing, these aren't long enough. What the hell? Oh wait, but then I also got, okay wait, I bought two different kinds. Just in case one didn't work. Cause we're prepared over here. Okay, that should do, that should do. And that's actually the right size. So this is a little bit promising. Do you need a different toy? Are you sick of your toys? There you go. This is where I really should have unscrewed one of these and took it with me to know. Oh. Wait, I think it's right, but I also think it's wrong. Wait, this isn't just a standard. Wait, I think I bought the wrong, no. I got the right size, but I wasn't paying attention. These are definitely gonna be right. Bah, is that gonna be the only thing that's wrong? Ah, oh, I didn't even look at that. They're lock nuts, so they've got this like rubber. I didn't even look, Catherine. Okay, let's see. So I was just silly and I bought the wrong. Can I like take that out by chance? <laughs> Cause if that's the only thing I need to go back for cause I needed six of these. So I needed some more of these. So I got those and I got these. You know what? I'm proud of myself that my conversions were right, but ah, that was silly. I just looked at the size and I didn't really read it. And these are lock nuts. These are not just Oh well, my girly pops watching this are like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, me too, me too. Oh. But I think we can do some of this. Where's my, oh, did I even bring my phone up here? I probably didn't. In my head I was like, I probably figured this out without my phone. I probably shouldn't figure this out without my phone. I should look at the instructions. This must be a sport. <laughs> you do know how you over there. Now that we've inspected the bed a little bit more, I'm realizing that I lost one dowel in the move. So I took this one out and I'm hoping I could find one. I don't think like it's really critical for the structure of the bed if I'm missing one wood dowel because each spot has a wood dowel in the center and then two screws on the side. So I feel like like the screws will support it. But still, I'm gonna take this with us. We're gonna go back to Home Depot. We're actually gonna go to a different Home Depot though, one that is closer to us. I'm gonna try to find a wood dowel. We need to get six nuts that are not lock freaking nuts because just, ugh, girlfriend. And then, since I know for sure I can build this bed today, I did not bring any sheets for the mattress. So I think we go back to Target, I know I'm insane, and we get sheets and potentially a comforter. I did have my green king comforter. Do you guys remember that one from my last house? I had it for a little in my bedroom and then I decided to do a whole like revamp of the room because the white just like was not it. But I don't think the green really works in here. And I said, we're gonna ride off of the brown tan vibes. That's what we're gonna do. I just can't believe that we have to go back to Target as well. I really did not think that through. all done before my man got home from work but he gets off work in less than an hour which means he's actually gonna be home in less than an hour 
and there's just no way in the dryer right now is the sheets in the washer right now is the new quilt i'm so uh, i'm so hot and yeah i could turn on the fan but i don't feel like it okay next up we gotta move this doozy of a mattress the tubes in the right side so I'm just seeing like what one is which. I think I need to set one side to super soft and the other side to rock hard. Okay, hold on. So if I sit on this, this is hilarious. I'm just sitting on this. Yes, okay. I got the sides down. We got it. We got it. This is gonna be my side so that's fine. And then this side, I'm not sure what he's gonna want it at, but I'm gonna drop it down to, let's start at 80. His number changes, so. Mine has been a sweet 45 ever since I got the sleep number. I'm so happy to have my bed back. I'm cleaning up right now, and I just was like, hold on, wait, I didn't even use the, You guys, I bought one pack of these stupid lock nuts, which now I just dropped all over the floor and I need to make sure I have all those because I got a baby that will put anything in his mouth. Oh my gosh, I dropped another one. But I also got a second pack because I thought there were packs of three. No, I bought one correct pack and one wrong pack. So then the ones that I used, I, I already have, why did I? So I ran to Home Depot for nothing. Okay. I mean, this was only like a buck, but still. No. I'm gonna try to talk quiet. Cause I have a feeling if I talk normal, he's going to wake up. But it has been over two weeks since I filmed that footage. I'm currently in our bedroom right now. Um, and really there has been no updates to it. The bed is built, the nightstands are here, the lamps are the same lamps. <laughs> me trying to be quiet, but then also me. <laughs> it's the exact same setup that I had in the house before the lake house. Don't say that woke up. Please don't say that woke up. <laughs> oh no, his eyes are open too. Threads. Anyway, you guys haven't missed much over the last two weeks. I just kind of wanted to apologize because I've been so incredibly slow with my content and I said I was changing my strategy to like filming, editing, uploading, filming, editing, upload, and I thought I would be pushing out videos at this point and I'm just not. I'm still very much so adjusting to being here and like our life looks different here and figuring out how to balance all of my content and just like life. It took me one whole week to open my computer again. Like the last time I looked at my computer was the last video I uploaded. I have been filming, it feels like every other day at this point, his room, doing a room makeover and that's coming together, but I still have a few more pieces that need to arrive and I actually need to order something else tonight. But otherwise, I think tomorrow I might just film a casual day in the life video and try to get back to more uploads. I like keep coming up with themes or topics that I wanna create videos around, like productivity and like, I I am hyper productive when I need to be productive. And I'm like, I used to share videos like that, including tips, but then I'm like, I just wanna to stick to the vlogs and I am so conflicted within myself. Did he put himself back down? No, not yet. 
but he's almost, oh my gosh, guys, he might get it. He might actually need a little bit of love. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Anyway, more videos are coming here soon. I think I'm gonna go back to my structure of theming my days. So it's like every Monday I vlog and just get into more of a routine because even with my short form content, I've really been off and I have kind of, I started a few different series there and then I just dropped them all because I didn't really have a structure and I need to go back to, <laughs> that sounded weird. I need to go back to having a structure because you guys just know I'm like a to-do list person, I'm very hyper organized. Like I really, really need that to function best. He needs me. So I'm gonna go care for my little boy and then hopefully I can finish up this video tonight. I know I'm not gonna be able to get it up tonight, but hopefully like first thing tomorrow morning I can get it up. We'll, we'll see. Thank you guys for sticking with me, bearing with me. Um, there are literally no updates that you have missed within these two weeks. Did I already say that? To the house, to organizing, to decorating. The only thing I've been focused on is his bedroom, but that's it. So you haven't missed anything, the fact that I haven't filmed in two weeks, but just, um, I don't even, I didn't even need to expose myself. <laughs> no one would have known. Okay, I gotta get this child. I hate hearing him cry. <laughs>